Oh, good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening. Wow, Whatever I don't know. For you. Welcome to Whiteboard Watt, day number 15. Yeah. We've got a fun one for you guys today, but first question of the day is Do you name your car? And if you do, what do you name your, or what is your car's name? So, my car is named M because it's a Mazda. Real creative. What's your car's name? <laughs> None of my cars have names. Nothing has a name. None of my vehicles have names. We asked Shauna and her truck has a name. Her truck is P3. And we're also taking suggestions for Dominic's white Ford. Um, Focus. Focus, that's a hatchback. So if you have any ideas for Dominic's car, let him know and let us know your car's name. Okay, moving along today, we're gonna be doing the hips don't lie warm up. Please complete the warm up before starting this workout. Yep, just like that. Two of those and the warm up's done. No, make sure you do that. Uh, it's gonna be very purposeful for today's workout. We wanna have a lot of this stuff warmed up in the hips don't lie warm up. So today, what do we have? We've got a fun little workout mixing together core and a dumbbell with a little bit of rest in between. So make sure you've got a water bottle because you're gonna wanna- A little make, bit of rest in between. A little bit of rest in between. <laughs> so um, how this workout works is you are going to start with 80 bicycles. So bicycles, what are they, Dominic? Ooh, she's gonna show us, she's gonna lay on her back. Uh, shoulders on the ground, butt on the ground. She's gonna pick her legs up and she's gonna just bicycle with them. And her elbows will be alternating. Elbows to knees, elbows to knees. So that's one, two, three, four. That's how we're counting them today. Uh, what she's not doing is, you don't have to oh. stay down there, but what she's not doing is just little tiny movements. I mean, we want full body elbows to knees on these. We don't want you to just be kind of. Yeah, and then make sure your opposite leg, you're extending all the way out. So nice full range of motion move efficient, but don't shorten the reps. Yep, and those, um, especially at the beginning of this workout, it'll be really easy to start out really, really hot on them. Mm, probably not a good idea with 80. Take your time, or your core is just gonna seize up on you and you're just gonna be like. Yeah, so after that, you are going to grab either your dumbbell or your kettlebell, and you have 60 dumbbell hang squat queens. This is 60 all together. You may split them up however you want. Five, 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 or however you wanna do it. So with our hanging motion, Dominic's gonna stand all the way up, and then anything above your knee is from that hang position. So it can either be a quick dip and drive. Notice as he's catching, he's bringing his elbow high and keeping it up high as he squats. Or if he needs to, if it's a little bit heavier, he can lower that dumbbell. His back is staying nice and straight, keeping it close to his body, and then a quick turn and catch. Mm -hmm but it is a full squat clean. Full Ooh. squat clean. Make sure you get all the way extended just like we would with the barbell and then feet move out into our squat stance and then you drop. So if you do catch this high, so let's say you catch it more of a power clean, you're going to squat down. We want to have that full range of motion through that movement. Yeah, and with one dumbbell, you'll notice he has it in the middle of his body. That's really going to help you for stabilization. So as you're cycling these, don't have the dumbbell outside your leg, have it right in the middle of your body, jump and land. And same thing with the kettlebell, however, your movement's going to be a little bit different. You want to twist your arms so you don't have that kettlebell rack you really hard. Good, think big shoulder shrug. Good. And yeah, you can alternate if you want to. I would suggest, kind of like Colleen was saying, probably five, 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 something like that. Or pick a number, alternating each one might take you too long. Yeah, and if you do set it down, make sure you stand up first before you start cycling again. So you've got your 60 dumbbell squat cleans. Now we go back for some core. Back to the core. Hopefully that core is relaxed a little bit since all those 80 bicycles. Just doing simple V-ups here. You'll notice she's fully extended on the ground, arms up, feet out all the way. And she's just touching her hands to her feet, basically. Look at that. Looks really good. Nice and simple. Yep. All right, after your 40 V-ups, you've got 20 dumbbell push press. So again, 20 between both arms. With our push press, it is a quick dip knees drive out weight in your heels dip then punch keeping your arm right by your ear walking your elbow out of the top as you get tired with these if you feel yourself starting to come forward that means in your dip your knees are coming forward and your weight is shifting onto the balls of your feet so we want to make sure we take our time weight in our heels again aggressive dip punch mm -hmm. so you get done with your 20 and you get a three minute rest Ooh, yeah. And again, real quick on those 20, it can be like three on each side, five on each side, whatever you want to do, however you want to break it up. 
definitely try to split it evenly though. So you're not yes. doing like 15 on one and five on the other. Do not. So yeah, that three minute rest is gonna feel very welcomed. However, this is gonna be a rushed rest because once you get to that three minute mark, you're gonna wish you had a longer break, but that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing in reverse now. So you're gonna go back into the 20 dumbbell push presses or kettlebell presses, the ups, dumbbell hang squat cleans, and then back to the bicycles. So you're going 80, 60, 40, 20 down, three minute rest, 20, 40, 60, 80, back up. Yep. Pretty straightforward. That's it. Get after it, you guys. Have a good day. And let us know what your car name is. <laughs>